Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we shall be looking at a very crucial topic in mathematics, division of binary numbers. I call it a crucial topic because most of the students find this topic very difficult to solve. Of which, at the end of this lesson, I will make sure that you have a better and clearer understanding of the topic, division of binary numbers. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to support the channel as we continue to make mathematics easy and simple for you. All right, so today we shall be looking at a very simple question here, which is evaluate 101010 base 2 divided by 110 base 2. Before we delve into this particular question, which is a binary number, let's have a look at this simpler and ordinary question that has to do with addition. From here, I'll be able to show you the approach that will be taken in solving this particular question. And the approach we are going to be using is the one I call the long division method, of which I'll be using this particular question to show you what we are going to do here to make this particular question easy and simple. So I'll be making use of uh, this particular approach that I use for my students. Uh, I'll be using this acronym. The acronym says Dr. Michael Studied Biology. Dr. Michael studied biology. You can actually call it whatever you like, of which doctor here represents division. Then Michael here represents multiplication. Studied means subtraction. Then biology in this sense means bring down. So we are going to be taking these steps in solving long division. So whenever you are resolving any question that has to do with long division, these particular steps will help you to resolve that particular question as quickly as possible. That is to say, after division, we do multiplication. After multiplication, we do subtraction. After subtraction, we do bring down. We'll be able to bring the next number down. All right, so let's use this particular question as an example before we now delve into the main question that we have for today. What we have on the board is 1116 divided by 4. And one most important thing we need to note here is that whenever we are dealing with long division, we do not take note of remainders. We do not take note of remainders. So we'll be taking it digit by digit. That is exactly how we'll be resolving the problems. So let's get started. Four, divide one. So we'll be taking it digit by digit until we resolve the entire question. Four, divide one. Can 4 actually go round 1? No, of course, 4 cannot go round 1 because 4 is bigger than 1. So for 4 to divide 1, it cannot go round. So for that reason, I will have to say 0. So when you say 4 divide 1, which means that 1 is smaller than the number that will be dividing it. So therefore, we have to write 0. Alright, so that is for division. We've taken division. That is by saying... 4 divide 1, which cannot go round, and we'll call it 0. So we are done with division. So we move to multiplication. 0 times 4, that's 0 multiplied 4, will give us 0. So the next step we'll be taking will be subtraction. So that will not be 1 minus 0 will give us 1. Then the next one is bring down. So we have to bring down the immediate digit number. So put this one here. We'll bring down the next digit, which is one. So you can see we have finished the process. So we have to start all over again. We have to start division again. Four divide 11. Remember, we don't consider remainder. So four divide 11 will give us two. So the next step is multiplication. 2 multiplying 4 will give us 8. The next step is subtraction. 11 minus 8 will give us 3. So the next step is for us to bring down. So we'll bring down the next digit, which is 1. We're done with bring down. So we have to start all over again. Division. 4 divided to 1. That will give us 7. Go to multiplication, 
7 multiplied 4 will give us 28. The next step is subtraction. 31 minus 28 will give us 3. So the next step is bring down. So we have to bring down the next digit. So the number num becomes 36. So we have to start all over again. 4 divided 6. That will give us 9. Multiplication. 9 multiplied 4. That will give us 36. Then, nothing to bring down here. So we have to do subtraction. We have to do subtraction. 36 minus 36 will give us 0. So once you have 0 as the last thing under here, that is to say you have finished the whole process. Now, to do checking, you can punch in your calculator 1116. That's 1116 divided by 4. Of course, it will give you 279 as your solution. So we'll be making use of this particular method in resolving this. This is the simple way of approaching any long division. That is saying Dr. Michael studied biology. Division, multiplication, subtraction, brain down. So that's, those are the steps to be taken in resolving this kind of problem. Now let's move to the major problem that we have for today. Now let's resolve the main question we have for today. That is 110 divide 101010 one, one, all in base 2. So look at how we are going to be resolving it using the same approach of long division. So we'll be taking it digit by digit. Recall what we did here. When a number ca that cannot go round, what we normally do, we write zero. So let, we are going to be making use of the same approach here. So now let's get started. One, one, zero, divide one. Can one, one, zero go round one? No, of course we write zero. So that is for division. We now move to multiplication. Zero multiply one, one, zero, that will give us zero. Because zero multiply any number will give us zero. So the next thing is subtraction. So 1 minus 0 will give us 1. The next one is bring down. So we have to bring down 0. So what we now have is what? 1, 0. So we have to start all over again. That is division. 1, 1, 0. Divide 1, 0. 1, 1, 0 is too big to divide 1, 0. So therefore, we are going to have it as 0 here. We cannot go around. So the next one will be multiplication. 0 multiply 1, 1, 0 will still give us 0. So subtraction is the next. So 0 minus 0 will give us 0. zero or 1 minus nothing here will give us 1. So the next step will be bring down. So we'll have to bring down the next digit. You can see it's the same approach we used here. So bringing down to the next digit, that is 1. Then we have to start all over again after bringing down. So the next step we're going to take again is uh, division. 110 and 101. Which one is actually bigger? 110 is bigger than 101. Because of that, we're going to be having zero because 110 can no go around 101. So therefore, it's going to be zero because it can no go around. All right, so we have to write zero. So the next step is going to be multiplication. 0 multiplying 1, 1, 0. That will still give us 0. Because 0 multiplying anything will give us 0. So the next one is going to be subtraction. 1 minus 0 will give us 1. 0 minus nothing, 0. 1 minus nothing, 1. All right, so the next step will now be bring down after subtraction. We we'll bring down the next digit. And the next digit here is zero. So what we now have here is one zero one zero. One zero one zero. All right, so we we'll have to start all over again with our division. One one zero divide one zero one zero. When you look at it carefully, you find out that the number we have here and that of this one 
is not equal. The one we have here, which is the dividend, is bigger than the divisor. So therefore, we're going to have, be having a positive number there and not zero. All right, so when we say 110 divide 1010, that will give us 1. That will give us 1. So after the division, we move to multiplication. 1 multiplying 110 will still give us 110. 110. The next step is subtraction. 0 minus 0, that will give us 0. 1 minus 1, that will give us 0. 0 cannot minus 1. And remember that we are treating base 2. 0 cannot minus 1. What do we do in this case? So we have to borrow 1 here. Recall what I said, uh, what I explained in our previous video concerning addition and subtraction of binary numbers. You can search for the video. That's EPH, mass with EPH. Uh, addition and subtraction of binary numbers. When we borrow in basis, as we borrow 1 here, 0 will be remaining here. When we remove 1 from here, from 1, 0 will be remaining. Once you push that 1 you have borrowed to the next number, that number turns to become 2. The reason is because we are treating base 2. If we are working with base 3, once you borrow 1 in base 3, and that 1 moves to the other number, it becomes 3. It becomes the base in question. So now we are treating binary, which is base 2, of which when we borrow 1 here, remove 1 from here, 0 becomes this one. Then put that one you borrow here, become what? 2. I hope you know why it is 2, because we are treating base 2. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1. Of, of course, we have 0 here, which when you bring it down, is still the same thing. All right, so the next thing we're going to do after subtraction is bring down. So we have to bring down the next digit. We we'll bring down the next digit, which is 1. So we have to go ahead to divide again. We have to start all over. 110 can actually divide 1001 because this is bigger than this. So it's going to give us number 1, digit 1. 110 divide 1001 will give us 1. So the next one is multiplication. 1 multiply 110 will give us 110. One, one. 1, 0. So the next step is for us to do subtraction. Subtraction. 1 minus 0, 1. Similar thing we did here. 0 cannot minus 1. And we can't borrow from here because this is nothing. So 1, we can actually remove 1 from here. When we put it here, it become 2. And when we remove 1 from these 2, 1 will be remaining. Put it here, it become 2. I'll explain again. 0 cannot subtract 1. Because 0 is too small to remove 1. So we can't borrow from here. We can actually borrow from this 1. When you remove 1 here, 0 is many here. Put it here, become 2. Remove 1 in that 2, become 1. Put it here, become 2. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, of which this 1 is already 0. So 1, 1 is still the same thing. So now that we are done with subtraction, what is the next thing to do? Bring down. So we have to bring down the next digit. Let's bring down the next digit. When we bring it down, that it becomes what zero. So we have to start all over again from division. One one zero divide one one zero. You can see they are now the same number here. One one zero divide one one zero will give us one. Because when a number divides itself, it will produce one. So we move to multiplication after division. That will now be one multiply one one zero will give us one one zero. Of course, the same number minus itself will give us zero. And that becomes the solution to this question. So the answer to the question is now 1, 1, 1 in base one well, 2. That is the answer. These three zeros are insignificant. You can choose not to write it. So thank you for listening.